The water level at Lake Oroville continued to drop Thursday, but state officials began reducing the outflow from Oroville's dam's damaged main spillway in an effort to clear debris from the Feather River below, even as a major storm was forecast for early next week. Now, by mid-morning, releases from the main spillway had dropped to about 95,000 cubic feet per second. The Department of Water Resources website indicated releases would fall to about 80,000 cubic feet per second by 3 p.m. on Thursday. Releases had been constant at 100,000 cubic feet per second since late Sunday when dam operators cranked up the flow after the reservoir filled to capacity and it appeared that the dam's secondary emergency spillway wouldn't hold. Officials had said they would start throttling back the releases to resume pulling debris from the river channel beneath the dam. The debris had backed up the river at a critical point, preventing the state from restarting the dam's hydroelectric power plant. The plant would be capable of releasing up to 13,000 cubic feet per second. Meanwhile, the National Weather Service predicts an atmospheric river would strike the area beginning Monday, putting renewed strain on the reservoir. The lake fell by nearly five feet in the 12-hour period ending 10 a.m., dropping to below 868 feet. That was about 33 feet below the top of Oroville Dam, even as the first in a series of storms hit the Oroville region late Wednesday. The first storm didn't bring significant rains, but the National Weather Service reported that a warm, heavy storm known as the Atmospheric River is expected to roll into the Feather River Basin Monday and Tuesday. Now, they went on to say it looks like the system for next week is trending wetter and warmer, said Michelle Mead of the National Weather Service in Sacramento. However, Mead said the rainfall is expected to be only half as heavy as last week's storm, which swamped Lake Oroville with peak inflows of 191,000 cubic feet per second just as the Orville Dam's main spillway suffered a massive crater. It is not looking as bad, Meade went on to say. The giant pothole that damaged the main concrete spillway on February 7th temporarily hobbled dam operations. Despite damage to the main spillway, dam officials have been releasing water at 100,000 cubic feet per second nonstop since late Sunday in order to increase flood control space. Damage to the spillway hasn't worsened at all since then. It is also very important to note that the USGS records small earthquakes near the Oroville Dam. Two small earthquakes were recorded near Lake Oroville in the last 24 hours, which appear to be a result of the fast lake level changes in the release of pressure from water weight. Now they went on to say on their Facebook page that the predicted earthquakes due to extreme lake level changes have started. Two in the last hour, 300 million pounds of water has been removed in two days. That will cause the earth to jiggle a bit. These were predicted and should not cause any problems they went on to say. Now they also said that the magnitude of the quakes were very small, 0.8 and 1.0 on the Richter scale. And there does not appear to be any threat to the dam infrastructure itself. We'll keep watching this situation over in California concerning that dam. Let us know your thoughts below this video on what you think will happen in the coming weeks to Lake Oroville. Thanks for watching.